What's going on you guys? This is Max Kid. Yeah, another Dell Optiplex 7070 is going to be two down. This is uh, just a manufacture date of 2019 of September. So I'm going to go to the other side. So I'm going to move the side cover panel. It's a little latch, you press it down your finger. It will slide to the left. So I'm going to be using a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head. Move the front cover basil. There's a clips where you gently your finger lift them up like this. And this is the small foam factor. So you're going to take a flathead screwdriver right here in the left corner. Remove the wire, so you're gonna lift this up like this, and you disconnect the power and steady cable from optical drive. So there will be three screws in the back to remove the power supply. What I will do is I'm going to remove this latch, press it up, straight up like this. And the PCI times 16 slot, the blue slot right here. There's a little secure clip, so you're going to pretty lift it up like this before you move the video card. So I'm going to go to the other side, remove the SATA cables. I need to get a mini Phillips screwdriver I need. To move the solid state drive. There's one right here with the CPU power, 4 pin, you can disconnect. And you have to press on a clip right here before you remove it. Same with the 6 pin. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver again. Here in the corner also. And to remove the power supply, there's a little you press on this clip right here with the right side, and power supply should slide to the right. This 
this is a bolt-on to the motherboard right here. This is for the for the hard drive cage secure clip. So you're gonna you know, break the flathead screwdriver, and you have to unscrew it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the CPU cooler. So you can disconnect from the motherboard, the fan. Got a terminal compound on the CPU before you remove it. You have to take a paper towel and you're gonna wipe it, wipe it off. So I want to start it from the bottom. And I'm going to start removing the screws from the motherboard. Looks like this is for the power switch. So I'm just gonna remove it. And the USB for the front here looks like. It's got a one screw, looks like in the corner. And the way this comes out, you're just gonna take a flathead screwdriver. It's got a clip right on the top and the bottom. So then it comes out of the power switch. Uh, here in the corner, right corner, there's an internal speaker. Connect to the motherboard you have to remove the connector and here's the internal speaker here on the bottom right right corner he's gonna lift up the motherboard gently 
you gotta make sure you you check with all the screws here there the top and the bottom so this one what you have to do is see right here with the SSD slot right here the 2230 it's got a looks like a 2280 right here you see right here the 2280 it's got a little nut screw you have to unscrew it also it's connected to the motherboard right here this is the main screw you have to remove before you pull the motherboard out right here otherwise you cannot remove the motherboard now you have to lift up the motherboard gently and then come out to the back side see you guys this is the end of the video thanks for watching bye